How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here with a beginner's guide for Yokai Watch Garapo Rhythm on the mobile device. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to download it from the Android phone. We're gonna show you how to download it on the iPhone or iOS systems. And of course, we're gonna go through the game and teach you a little bit about how to play, how to get started so that you guys aren't intimidated from playing a game that's not native to your language. So anyway, if you guys are excited for it, and if this video tutorial does help you out, smash the like button and share it. We need a lot more people playing this game. It's so much fun. Anyway, so right off the bat, we're gonna show you what you need to do in order to download. Now I've got a screen share happening right over here so you guys can see my phone and what exactly we're doing. Uh, if you guys head on over to the Google Play Store, uh, type in Tunnel Bear, and this is exactly the app that I use in order to uh, pretty much trick the phone into thinking that we're actually in Japan uh, by using a VPN. Now, in this tutorial, there are so many other ways of downloading this game or downloading apps in the Japanese e um, App Store or the Japanese Google Play Store. There's so many ways of doing it. This is what worked for me. If you guys have another way of doing it, feel free to put some instructions in the comment section below and help everyone else out. But anyway, so download Tunnel Bear. Uh, all you have to do is just type in Tunnel Bear, click on open. And then you'll notice, uh, you'll start over, uh, if you're in the United States, you can be exactly right over here and you can change your VPN to wherever you want. So scroll all the way over to Japan, click on Japan over here, and then once you click on Tunnel Do Japan, you'll essentially trick your phone into thinking that it's in the Japanese region. So by doing this, you can access the Google Play Shop. Uh, the Japanese Google Play Shop or um, any other shops. So what, what what I did from there was if you go over to settings, uh, I think I have settings open over here. If you go over to settings, what you're gonna need to do is go over to users and accounts. So you can see that right over there on screen. Click on users and accounts, go to add a new account, go to add a Google account, and then from there, you're going to need to pretty much make a new Google account, set it up with um, email, log into it, all sorts of things from there. And then once you can, you head on over to your Google Play, and then you can change up. If you t press the, uh, the top three lines in the corner, you can change up what account you are pretty much going to be accessing with the Google Play Shop. So if you log into your Japanese exclusive shop because you're logged in with that VPN, you guys should be all set with accessing the Japanese uh, shop, just like that. So well, here's what we're gonna do. This is exactly where I learned how to do this from. I'll link this in the description in case you guys want to. This is a GitHub site from Magi Circles, which was pretty cool, how to install Japanese apps. And this is exactly what I'm showing you here. So you guys can see right on board that we do have a Tunnel Bear. That's what we showed on screen over here. Uh, pressing on, uh, you know, turning it on, going over to Japan, tunneling over there, going to Android settings, then accounts. Of course, adding a Google account, creating a new account. Uh, you can skip the online payment portion in case you're young and you don't have access to a credit card. Don't worry about it. You can skip that. You won't be able to sync anything. Don't worry about that. And then literally open up Google Play, switch to the new account that you created, and you are all set. I'm not going to show that on screen because it has my personal information. But now you can essentially uh, download any kind of app from the Google Play Store. And that's exactly what I did in order to get the Garapo Rhythm on there. I didn't download the APK or anything like that because then you're gonna run into an issue of what happens if there's a newer version, the APK is not available, but this will automatically update every single time. Okay, now since I don't have an iPhone on me and I only uh, have my Google Pixel 2 over here, uh, in case you guys want to jump onto iOS, this is how you do it. Again, referencing the site, it's going to be linked in the description below. Uh, go to apple.com, scroll down to the, uh, the page where there's a flag over here, change the country to Japan, uh, click on the app in iTunes, um, go over the button to download it. Okay, depending on your operating system, it might open the iTunes app. In that case, make sure you scroll down and change the language settings again. Also, if you're logged in with another account, uh, log out before anything. Create a new Apple ID. Very simple, create that there. Uh, accept the terms and conditions. Make sure you're creating it in Japan. So you gotta pay attention to over here, it says, uh, uh, if the billing address of your payment is not in Japan, click here. So make sure it says Japan over there. Click on accept, fill in your information. Uh, and then of course it says, uh, click on none to skip the payment. And of course, enter a valid Japanese address. If you don't know any, just go to a Google map and pick a random location. Provide a payment method, click on none. And yeah, open your email and verify your account. And then once you do that, click on verify now, sign in and verify your email address, and then return to the store. 
log into your stuff. It's a little bit more involved with the uh, iTunes version. But anyway, once you log in, you can download the game from the App Store. So that's great. Now, again, this will be linked into the uh, description. So, hey, jump into that. All right, so now we're going to do, now that you guys know how to download this, of course, give me feedback in the comments if you, uh, if you didn't get a chance to do so or you didn't download it correctly. Go ahead and let us know in the comments and then some people, I urge you guys to reply to them and let's get some more people in the community to help out with that. So anyway, so now that you have it, you got Yokai Watch Garapo Rhythm, right? So the first thing that you want to do in order to get this going is you want to create a level five ID account by clicking in the top corner over there. So click on that. This is very simple. You can go over to level five ID and you can create an account or you can log in with one. By creating an account, you'll just have to link up an email address. And then once you have that email address, you verify it and then you log back into it, you'll be rewarded with a free Orkanos, which is a very good yokai at the very beginning of the game. So once you have that, you are all set. Uh, if you start up a new game, you'll have access to one of three yokai, Komasan, Jibanyan, or Usapyon. You're going to have access to every single one of them, so it doesn't really matter who you start off with. So, keep that in mind. Alright, so now that we have this over here, we're going to continue on with our beginner's guide and show you what this is. A lot of you guys may be intimidated. Oh, it's Japanese. I don't know how to read Japanese, but it's okay. I'm going to show you what's going on. Okay, so a lot of things happening on screen over here, right? We'll start from the top corner and just work our way around. So the top corner, this one pretty much shows your statistics. This shows you how many S ranks that you have, and that's a rank of how well you did in a particular song. Of course, it's got some other information like that. Uh, you click on this one over here, you can learn a little bit more as well. So right over here, we have the Yokai pad. If you guys have ever played Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble, Yokai Watch Puni Puni, uh, Yokai Watch Puni Tori Wars, it's the same concept. You have access to many different things over here. So right off the bat, the Jibanyan which is the top left one. This pretty much shows you your team. You have five presets. If you kind of scroll over, you can preset your teams on whoever you like. And of course you can edit them accordingly by clicking on, on that big green button on the bottom there. Uh, we have access to a load of different yokai. You can click and drag whoever you want to be on any team. And you can see their stats go up and down depending on the team composition. So keep that in mind. If you'd like to read a little bit more about any particular yokai, you can go over and click on them and then click on the big green button above their head and you can see exactly what their stats are. You can see their HP, their attack, speed, etc., what their bonus is, what their uh, soul ultimate meter does, what their appeal meter does. And of course, if you're wondering about these big block attacks, feel free to jump into Google Translate, take a picture of it, highlight over it with your finger, and then you can kind of learn about it. I'm not going to give you guys an advanced tutorial of what every single yokai does, and nor am I going to translate all that. That's on you guys if you want to figure it out. But at the same time, if you're playing this casually like me, it doesn't necessarily matter as long as you're having a good time. So anyway, loads of other yokai over here. You can do the exact same thing. You could do some sorting by uh, level. You can also do some additional sorting by your different style versus your different instrument. So very cool stuff over there. You can kind of look at all your yokai simply by going into that Jibanyan spot. Easy, right? Okay, so we are going to exit out and then we're going to go over here towards uh, the next one. The next one is the same concept. It shows you all of your different cards and all of your different playable yokai characters. So pretty much the same thing that we showed you about earlier. All right, so going over to uh, Sergeant Burley over here, Burley allows you to take a look at all your achievements. Now you'll notice an exclamation mark by Burley. Click on over to it. If you click on the bottom red part over that way, that is accept all. So you'll accept all the rewards at one given time. So you can see over here, you can scroll through. There's going to be some different uh, requirements that you guys are going to need. And then of course the grayed out ones are the ones that you've already claimed. So you can see all the different requirements over here, all the different rewards that you can pot potentially get. A lot of cool Soul Secrets books, a lot of star books that help out with your appeal attacks. Um, and then of course, same thing over here, a lot more. The last tab has a lot of the, I like to call them pseudo legendaries because a yokai like Android Yamada right over here or Corn Fused, you need to befriend a certain nine Amata yokai in order to get them unlocked as a playable yokai in the band. So Android Yamada is like that, Corn Fuse, we got some other characters like the, the Burger Yokai, Robinyan USA, Poofesser, uh, Usapion, and Komasan as well. So if you take a look over here, there were many of them that I've already unlocked. 
uh, such as dun 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 Orcanos. We got that. We got Wall Kappa. We got Happy Air. You've got uh, Nan Danan and Desmeralda. So always pay attention to that. You guys can click on them to pretty much see um, you know what they were, what you needed. Okay. So that's how you unlock more additional player yokai. You've got your bag over here. The bag allows you to take a look at your items. There's not too many items in the game. There is exporbs, uh, small, medium, large. And of course the mega export, which is really good for you. And then of course you've got these soul, to, um, these soul secrets books. So soul secrets definitely helps you level up a particular yokai's soul ultimate move. So when you jump into doing their soul ultimate move, their soul ultimate cooldown can take a little bit less. Or, of course, it'll be a lot stronger. And same thing goes with the appeal attacks. There's a lot of different effects that go into play. I'm not going to explain them all, but you guys can definitely look into what those do. So we got a boatload of those. I'm saving them for a rainy day, right? Okay, moving on to this little spot over here. This one shows you all the songs that you've unlocked. You can take a look at all of them. These are uh, some purchased ones from the in-game store, some purchased ones from the free store, and then, of course, some of them that are locked that if you click on this green button on the bottom here, you can see exactly what's going on. Why is it locked? What do you have to do? Uh, and then of course everything here. I'm gonna go into all this ranking stuff in a little bit, so stay tuned for it. Okay, so that's pretty much all the songs. You can take a look, you can get a little sneak peek of them. You can see all that fun stuff. All right, so the GP shop. If you guys ever played Yoka Watch Wibble Wobble, you guys remember Y Money, right? The in-game currency in this game is called GP. So with the GP, you've got your average store, and in your average store, you can spend your GP accordingly on Exporbs, Soul Secrets, little Starbucks, all that stuff. But more importantly, you want to be able to unlock all of these songs by spending these GP. You guys can see over here that I'm missing only one song, so we're gonna have to keep on grinding this GP a little bit later until we get 25,000 in order to unlock it. How are you guys gonna grind GP? Don't worry, I'll tell you guys in a little bit. Stay tuned. All right. So here we go. This is uh, the last tab. You have access to purchasing some playable characters such as Mermaiden and of course Gargaros. Gargaros is very strong, so if you have been saving up your GP, you guys are all set, purchase those guys. This is all free stuff in the game. Keep that in mind. All right, so moving on, we've got a lot of things happening here. This is the Yokai Medallion. Welcome to it. Every Yokai game has a medallion. You can scroll through and see which Yokai you have. You can take a look at them. And of course, with each of these, you can kind of click and drag and take a look at their 3D models as they're doing their little stances. So that's pretty great. You can tap on them and they'll do their little animations. Look pretty cool, huh? Of course, you can do some sorting if you want, uh, but ultimately at the very end of the day, uh, the game is going to leave a lot of open spots for even more yokai if they choose to expand the game based on if you guys play the game based on if you guys spend money on the game etc etc so you guys can see over here that we got tons of new yokai that we befriended and of course we've got a couple bosses that we've been playing through so you can see over here that there is going to be a total of eight nine ten bosses in the entire game who are they going to be well, i don't know you're gonna to have to watch my let's play to find out okay so those are the yokai that you can befriend over here is settings uh, you can take a look at many different settings in the game, mess around with these options. I know this top middle one over here uh, shows your purchase history, which is kind of cool. Uh, this one right over here, what does this one do? Uh, it shows probably some help, level 5 ID, connections, and stuff like that. This one is more along the lines of balancing, more help, and uh, other things. So take a look at that, pay attention to it if you guys want to, and really not that big of a deal. Okay. So that's your you're pretty much your go-to area of the game. Right underneath here is going to be the spot where you guys can learn about what you want to purchase in the game with real money. Now, every single one of these uh, are songs that you can purchase. They're two packs. If you guys are in the States, they cost about $3 a piece uh, for the two packs, so $1.50 a song. If you guys buy the pack of every single one of them, it's around 26 bucks US. Uh, right over here, are some different character packs. Each of the characters costs about, what, like three bucks or something like that? Um, oh no, they cost about a dollar, I think so. And then of course, if you buy the character packs, which is the Zazzle pack or the Enma pack, it's about nine bucks. So you'll save about three bucks if you buy the packs. Of course, it doesn't show the prices here because I've already purchased them. Don't even worry about that, but this actually costs real money. So if you guys want to help support the series even further, show your support with your wallet by downloading some characters and going from there. So pretty cool. That's the in-game real life shop. All right, so now let's take a look at this mode right over here where Jibanyan is. This is the song mode. 
And I'll show you guys the song mode. Song mode is really fun. Okay, so in order to in order to unlock a lot of different um, levels, a lot of different songs and difficulties in the game, you're gonna have to spend some time in song mode. Uh, taking a look at it, I'll show you guys exactly what uh, you need to do. So we can take a look at this song here. We all know the Gara Gara Po song, right? It's named after the game. You click the magnifying glass and you can see exactly what the rewards are for beating the level. And of course there's ranks. So if you get the lowest rank, which is F rank, you don't really get any rewards. If you get C rank, which is the next one over, you can get additional songs. So you can get that one, the very top. This is high score. This one's combo. And then this one's how many times you've played the song. So essentially, if you want to get straight S's on any given song, you would play the game, play the song 20 times on that difficulty. You would get a perfect, uh, not missing a single one, a single beat. And then of course you'd get a really high score. So there's a lot of things involved with that. So you might be wondering, okay, so how do I get high scores, Abdallah? All right, well, let's take a look. Click on the big green button on the very bottom over there. And you guys can indeed take a look at what kind of style, which is the little eyeball and the color. And of course, what kind of instrument you need in order to score the most points. So you can see over here that it is pulsating, that Jibanyan matches the style while Blazion matches the instrument. So in order to maximize on score, you're going to need to align everyone involved with that. So let's take a look over here. We're not gonna do a full song for this tutorial, but I'll give you guys a little bit on board with it. So you guys can see that it does, they do like the red characters. So we'll grab some red characters. And then of course, drums totally help out. So we can bring Arcanos and of course, Blazion. So these are the characters, the stronger and higher level your yokai are, the more score you are going to get. So you can see over here that every single one of our characters is giving a little bit of pulsation on this, meaning that we have some bonus elements on us. Click that red button on the bottom, and then you're gonna start playing the game. Pretty fun. So again, this is song mode. So whenever you're ready, uh, all you have to do is just grab, the, grab your phone, and then you need to just tap. And whenever the lines line up, you wanna be able to tap it and get that gold text to come out of it. If you get the little heart text, that means, or the little flower text, that, mean it's, that means it's like suboptimal. It's not the best one that you can get. It's not a perfect, but it's a great. So you wanna be aiming for as many perfects as you can in order to keep on going. Now, in order to keep your combo up, you guys can see I've got eight over there on top. Um, and now I don't because I didn't get a perfect or a great, so it ruins the combo. These little ones over here are long presses. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're going to need to long press on them and then let go right at the end in order to get the perfect on them. So you guys can see me messing up over here on purpose just to show you guys how the, the flow works. If you get like a perfect uh, combo, you'll see exactly here that there's 37, 38, 39 little, um, 39 little notes over here. And of course, if you see that you are missing a lot of these hits, you have a health meter over here. And the health meter right underneath the score meter will consistently take on hits. And if you take too many hits, you're gonna fail the song. So very simple, uh, very similar to, uh, what is that, <laughs> Oso, if you guys have ever played that, or um, Guitar Hero, etc. So I'm not really showing you guys anything that was demonstration purposes, we've already S-ranked the song. Uh, but we S-ranked the score, which was really cool. This is our score that we got. S rank, we got a 10 combo. This is our fourth time playing the song on this difficulty. And of course you can see the finer details over there. So if you click okay, you can see that you're gonna get 16,000 experience. You're going to get uh, 244 GP and you're gonna be done with it. So that's really cool, right? So yeah, we're done. I did that one on easy. You guys can see right over here that this is the green easy mode. You can play on the yellow medium mode. And if you S rank the easy and medium modes, you'll have access to hard mode. And hard mode is a little bit tougher. You can see the, uh, the disc uh, pictures over here. They have like the five little music notes. That pretty much shows you that there's, there's a lot of music notes. And this one goes all the way to red. So if you're playing this on red, I got an S rank on it due to scoring, but trying to get an S rank on like not missing any hits, that's gonna be pretty crazy. So you guys can see over here that there's many different songs. Uh, you can go through, have a good time with it. If you keep on playing the songs, getting at least C rank, you'll unlock a lot of different 
other songs in the game, so that's kind of fun. So that kind of, that's it in a nutshell of what you can do in this mode. Uh, you can see I haven't played a couple songs, just some from DLC. So we'll take a look at some other ones. Uh, let me keep on scrolling through here, see if I got anything else for you guys. Okay, so one of my favorite songs was uh, by Katurian with Stitchbird. This one. Oh, I love this song. I got like a double S rank <laughs> on, the, on the medium, which was really fun. So you can see over here, how exactly do you get GP in the game? Like what's the best way to grind GP? Well, it's really just playing in song mode. You can see that by playing this and getting the S rank just once, you're able to get 1600 of the SP. And if you keep on playing the song multiple times, you're gonna be set of getting that. Now think of getting S ranks in every single one of these songs. You're gonna get so much GP, you won't even know what to do with it. So I need to keep on playing, keep on earning GP so that I can purchase everything in the shop. So anyway, that's it in the nutshell for the song mode. Let's jump into the actual story mode. So actual story mode, I'm doing a let's play of it on my channel. So I want you guys to go check that out. And uh, we'll go from there. So you guys can see over here that there are many different levels in the game. These are all worlds, very similar to Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble or Puni Puni if you guys play that. But you can see over here that all of these levels have certain requirements that you can do in order to get them. Let's take a look at world one. We got Slime Amanda over here. If you want to take a look at the three requirements, uh, similar to the stars, the stars that you get in Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble, you just pretty much click on top over there and you can see exactly what they are. Um, jump into Google Translate, that's my biggest thing, in case you guys don't know how to read Japanese, jump into Google Translate and translate what this is, and then try to get them. Of course, getting more of these little, I guess we can call them stars, spirit, whatever you want, uh, getting more of these will definitely help out with you unlocking different things in the game. Okay, so that's one of the bosses, spoilers, Slime Amanda is in the game, watch out. But of course, it's all about befriending yokai. So just like in Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble, you can see that there's gonna be hung ramps over here. And if you click on the magnifying glass, you can see a couple things on board. The first thing you're going to see is what kind of um, what kind of yokai is hung ramps a fan of? So case in point, hung ramps likes Whisper, he also likes Komasan, and he likes Blazion. So those are three yokai that you want to bring into your team in order to befriend these yokai. So next thing over here is the keyboard. This is pretty much saying what kind of music is super effective against him and is gonna deal the most damage. And I'm not 100% sure if using a keyboard helps out with befriending rates. Only time will tell on that stuff. So you guys can use that in order to deal massive damage. And of course, on the other side of Hungrams, you can see a little Japanese symbol. If it's an orange symbol, that means you already have him in your Yokai Medallion. If it's a purple symbol, then that means that you do not have him. So I'm gonna switch over to Mirapo. We're gonna warp a little bit ahead to uh, where we're currently at in my Let's Play. By the time you guys see this, we'll, we'll be ready to go and done. So this is a stage 68. You guys can see that there's gonna be a whole bunch of Japanese exclusive Yokai Watch 3 Yokai that haven't been uh, released or localized at this time. So you can click over here, that is that purple symbol. We don't have this Yokai. You can see that he likes Android Yamada, likes Camellia, and of course, more, of, of course, Mermaiden. And of course, right over here, you can see that he is uh, weak against guitar music. And then of course, you got a little Poindexter Yokai over here that also likes different kind of music. He likes different kind of Yokai, Shogunyan, Spoilerine, and of course, the Hamburger Dude. So once you click on OK, here, we're actually gonna go to a different level. I don't wanna play this one yet. Uh, we're gonna go to a different level. Let's click on this. And I will show you guys something relatively easy, but not too hard. How about, let's do, uh, I guess we can do Phalian's level, why the heck not? I'll show you guys what a battle this looks like. All right, so here's Phalian. In order to get the best attempts at getting this yokai in your medallion, because you guys can see we got the purple Japanese symbol over there, we don't have him, is to put those yokai in your team. I don't have the alternate version of Usapion yet, and I don't have Corn Fused. So the only way that I can get some pretty good chance of befriending is to bring Komajiro and potentially play a lot of accordion music. So again, it's not really our best bet. So right over here, depending on which music you have, you can choose what music you want to play the level in. So we're going to do this one. Anyway, so let's do this. Click on the bottom screen over here in that big green button, and now you can adjust your team. 
So we need Komajiro on our team in order to get the most effective. And I don't really have any accordion players. So you can search here if you unhighlight all these and go to accordion. You can see my only accordion yokai is Thornion. So I would suggest if you guys are playing this game, start off with Usapion. Because Usapion has the accordion you can get like, because everyone else has all the other instruments. So we're going to grab him just for the sake of it. And then we've got some other yokai that do some work as well. So I'll show you guys what the what it looks like now. So right over here, accordion's flashing because you've got super effective damage against the entire enemies or the fans in the audience. If you look at uh, Komajiro all the way over there, he's got the little shaking heart above his head. That means that you've got one yokai on your team that is going to be correlating with the befriending chances of getting these fans on your side. When you are ready, you guys can absolutely click on that button to start. And now we're gonna start an actual battle. Battles are a little bit different than songs because you're gonna have to pay attention to movement and clicking on the screen accordingly. So it's it's a little bit more tricky. So let's take a look. You can see we're on a grid pattern. And as soon as you see some hits coming, you have to make sure that you um, tap on them. If you tap on the enemies on there, you'll prevent a hit because they're just throwing trash at us. Okay, so now you'll notice that there is a grid on the bottom half of the screen. It's three, uh, three wide, and of course you can kind of move around your characters based on what you want to do. And as you're tapping on these notes over here, you can also see that your Sultimate meter's up. When you have Sultimate ready, you scroll up on whoever is in the front row, and you keep on tapping the screen, and you can do a Sultimate. So that's pretty much what a battle is. Of course you can scroll to the left with your characters and you can make them switch places. You can make them move all the way up to the front row to do massive damage versus being in the back row. And of course, uh, it's really all about making sure you time your presses accordingly so that you get it. Now, you'll know if you got a befriended yokai uh, if you get that yokai to approach you before you see the results screen. And of course, we're not going to show you that right now. You guys can absolutely watch my Let's Play episode on what exactly that looks like. But yeah, these battles are pretty easy. You pretty much just tap your way through, pay attention to when your Sultimate meter is there, get your person who, who you want to unleash the Sultimate on in the front row, and then when you see that Sultimate thing, you just scroll up on them and then just like tap like crazy on the screen there, so. Of course, as you're playing through these levels, you can use Mirapo to warp to any of the worlds that you guys want to, and you guys are gonna be set with that, so. I'm pretty happy about this because I think that's really all I have to tell you. Uh, some of you guys might encounter some levels where... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> all right, so let's go back to the previous level. Sometimes you might uh, have some levels that you don't have unlocked, like this one over here. You can see that there are going to be three requirements as to how you are going to unlock them. So if you guys are saying something along the lines of, Abdallah, help, I can't unlock this level. My answer is going to be, click on it, jump this into Google Translate, and then do what it says. It's as easy as that. Sometimes it involves beating a song, uh, sometimes it involves befriending a certain yokai, or getting a certain ranking on something. So, pop these into Google Translate, you can see exactly what the unlock requirements are, and then jump into it. So, that's the most common question I get on a lot of my episodes is, you know, I'm going through, I, I don't have access to the boss, I can't click on him, like, why can't I do that? So all you really have to do is just click on the boss area and then uh, take a look and see what the requirements are, if he's still locked. And then same thing with these requirements for the achievements. So this is probably, you know, beat this with a certain yokai or something like that. So anyway, I'm happy. The game's really cool. It's easy to play. There's a lot of things that you can do in order to 100% this game. And trust me, getting S ranks on... 423 instances? No way. Getting all 288 of these little achievement wisps? Yeah, right. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's possible, I don't know, but it's up to you guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it. We had uh, a pretty good time explaining to you what this game is all about. We showed you guys how to download it with uh, the help of a site that helped me out on the Android phone. I'm using a Google Pixel 2 in order to capture all this stuff. Uh, and of course, unfortunately, I don't have access to the iPhone, but hopefully everything on that site is legit and it does help you out. So, of course, if this video has helped you out, you know what to do, share the video with a Let's get some more people on this game. Hashtag localize YWGR so that you guys are on board with getting this game localized potentially outside of the States. 
Level five, they're tracking this hashtag and they're looking at how many people engage with it. So the more people we get engaged with it, the better chances we can see something like this happen outside of Japan. And yes, I know, there's a lot of licensing issues, trust me. But if we get something like this, even with subtitles, dude, that would be awesome. Anyway, watch our playlist where we go through the game and learn and, and do a whole bunch of stuff with it. So click that, enjoy that. Newest video on the channel that way, recommendations there. If you guys want one of these Yokai Watch Believe shirts, definitely visit the Abdallah Merch shop by typing in bit.ly slash Abdallah Merch, exactly like that. You guys can get some limited edition shirts there. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss a beat on all of the upcoming Yokai Watch content. Yokai Watch Blasters and Yokai Watch 3 are coming out very soon. Heck, Yokai Watch 4 is gonna be here before you know it. I'm gonna be playing every single one of those. I want you guys on board with me when we do. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.